welcome back to my channel thought I'd share with you what I'm up to today I'm gonna to make a couple Valentine pillows now I know Valentine's is closely approaching so you might take this idea and make a spring or Easter pillow using the same process just maybe different colors I went to the Dollar Tree and I spent four or five dollars and I should be able to get two pillows out of that now the first thing I picked up was one of these corduroy placemat I picked up this white super soft it's fuzzy it is a super soft micro fi micro fiber cloth just so you know it's in the automotive section and it's a 16 by 24 so it makes a, a good size pillow but you can cut it down to the size you want. For the backing of the pillows, I'm using one of these laundry bags. It's kind of a woven fabric, perfect for the back of a pillow, and it'll hot glue really well. I'm going to embellish my pillows with maybe some pom-poms, and I may uh, take this these little silk flowers apart and hot glue them into a heart shape. That's what I have kind of envisioned, so we'll see how that goes. Now, as far as filling the pillow, there's a couple different ways you could do it. If you have some of this polyfill, is, is of course the, the most ideal thing. So this for three or four dollars at Walmart maybe less than five for sure or if you don't have the polyfill and you have a couple old throw pillows you could use that as a pillow form and just hot glue a casing together and slip it on there and then finish hot gluing it once you stuff your pillow in there so that is another easy inexpensive way to fill your pillow okay, I want to show you this laundry bag once I got it opened up and what it basically is is just a big drawstring bag what I'm gonna do is cut down the side and make it just a one big flat piece of material and then lay my pillow toppers on top and then I'm going to just trace them out okay to do my white pillow is why I'm going to use my throw pillow form measured my throw pillow okay I have my fronts and backs all ready now we're just ready to hot glue the cases together it's just like sewing you're going to put right sides together and for the bigger pillow that's going to be kind of a pillow case I am going to hot glue all three sides and leave a pretty big gap so I can squeeze the fit the pillow in there now for the smaller one I'm going to hot glue all four sides and leave just enough gap to get my hand in there since I'm stuffing this one now after a hot glue it's just like sewing I'm going to have to turn the pillow cases inside outwards so that the outside the proper side shows I got my pillows hot glued all together now ideally if you had a sewing machine you could really get the corners pointy make them look a little bit better but this is strictly a no sew option if I wanted these to really last I would definitely have sewn them I am going to glue some pom-poms on my corduroy one and that's simple enough my white fuzzy one I'm gonna take these flowers apart and cut the petals apart and I think I'm gonna hot glue them into a heart shape okay I want to show you on these dollar uh, tree buds like this I just tore it completely apart and you have just a bunch of layers of these kind of almost looks like four-leaf clover I'm gonna cut them in force and that way I'm gonna have single petals and I'm just gonna hot glue them in a heart shape a little closer shot of what I'm doing with the rose petals I just hot glued them in a little heart shape and I'm just putting one spot of glue on there and then I'm gonna start layering uh, just the layers of petals until I can get it to the center no no right or wrong way just try to make a heart shape in the center of the pillow I'm gonna show you how it's coming along I got about uh, three rows of petals and then I took some of these uh, smaller green ones and kind of filled it in and now what I'm doing is taking various little petals that I have and just hot gluing them in little white spots that I see when I get it all over with it will be just a petal shape heart all right friends these are my valentine pillows I moved them in here to my front living room because this is where I can get the most light this time of night but of course you could spell anything you wanted to with the pom-pom balls the little soft fuzzy one I love the way this one turned out and I'll move in a little closer I just hot glued those petals into whatever shape you want you could do your last name initial you could just do a circle or whatever and just super colorful against that white so I hope you'll take this idea and it'll inspire you in some way thanks for watching bye bye